It's Friday, so it's time for another weekly update. Now, if you remember in last week's weekly update, I said that uh, we'd be relocating to the Australian office. We are now here. Well, I am now here in the already established uh, Australian office out in Sydney. So what I'm going to do is give you a little bit of a tour, a little bit of a walk around, and I'll show you what we are doing from the Sydney office now. Now, first off, we have our new daily space. Uh, dailies were always traditionally shot in Hong Kong. Uh, they will now be shot here. You can see it. Uh, some new items being laid out now, ready to make the dailies. So this is going to be the daily space. It's a floating temporary, uh, temporary daily space. It will move around as the office moves and expands. Um, but we'll also be shooting some studio stuff in here as well. So that's that. Here's the back of it. And then as we go into the main room, well, we've got all the bods that make up the Sydney office. Uh, main role for the Sydney office is marketing and category managing. Uh, category managers are in charge of all the main categories for the website. So multi-rotors, batteries, planes, cars, all those, all those nice uh, genres of model products. That guy walking past the camera now is Simon. He is a head category manager. He also runs the team Multistar, who've been setting the world on fire at uh, uh, recent FPV races. Okay, so as we swing around, storage in there, some cool stuff in there, but what we have along the side here, uh, these are all a selection of either work models or staff models. Um, there's a chap you'll see in a second called Mark. He's done a very nice job weathering uh, the Mark V Spitfire. Uh, there's many more models besides workbenches. It's, so it's not your typical office because there's lots of cool toys around. Speaking of which, here are some new items that you will see. Uh, this is the new uh, pro site, and then of course we've got the Horus that will be coming soon. And uh, we've got Nick uh, sitting just here, maybe he wants to give us a wave. There we go, hello. And then we've got John, he is category manager. John, tell them good people what you're category manager for. Category manager for uh, FPV, radios, boats, archery, glues and tapes, and servos. Um, we've got a couple of little cool projects here. A 360 degree FPV receiver. It's smaller cousin up here, the Half Overlord, and a new FPV racer radio. And don't forget the Affinity. Yes, our nice yeah, yacht up here, the Affinity. Um, released yesterday, almost sold out today, more stock on the way. So as we travel further around, um, activation shelves, so when products come in uh, and they're ready for activating, they will go there. So new products that will feature in dailies uh, will come here, so look out for cool stuff there. Storage, more storage with some new stuff uh, that we shouldn't be showing you. And essentially that's the Australian office in a nutshell for now. Um, so I'm gonna hand over to James now and I'll see you guys with news on a new model that's over there that I won't show you, but we will show you in the next couple of weeks. Very, very excited for that to come. So James, it's over to you in the New York office. Hey guys, so we're out here at our local flying field out in Calverton. We have the Estrella here all set up and ready to go. We told you about it a couple weekly updates ago and we finally had time to get it out. Uh, the build on this guy, extremely simple. If you've never built a balsa plane before, you would have no problems with this. The only difficult part is going to be hinging your flight control surfaces. But again, super simple with just some CA glue. Uh, overall, the build in general, extremely easy. Pretty much bolt together except for your hinging. Uh, power system we're running in this guy. In the front we have an Aerostar uh, 50 size motor that's attached to an Aerostar 65 amp ESC. We're running four Hobby King full size servos and we have of course our trusty FR Sky radio gear inside and we've been flying her around. She's flying great. We got a 13 inch prop up front 4S power. Plenty of power. Great sport aerobatic plane. Low wing. Really simple to fly. So now we're going to show you some flying of the Australia. Come on guys check it out. If you've ever flown just a sport plane of any kind, it's basically that. Imagine, imagine an ugly stick with a low wing. About that. A little faster. At least with the power setup I have in it. Do some mild aerobatics. And it's a much prettier stick. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not a box with wings. Very fun to fly though. Very, very easy.
All right guys, so that's the Australia. Really fun plane to fly, extremely easy to put together. Make sure you guys check it out on hobbyking.com. So we finished our shoot at Sydney Olympic Park Archery Club with Greg. Um, as you can see, by the end of the day, we're still bang on target with these bows. The Sandita bows with the Jando limbs, quite impressed. How were you with the Dream Compound bow, Greg? Yep, out of the package, it's great to shoot with, just to give archery a try, even with compound or recurve. Yep, um, for beginners and uh, novices that are getting into the sport or up to intermediate level for target archery, uh, field archery, or even hunting, um, this equipment's pretty good. So check out the archery catalogue on hobbyking.com. See you next time. Dun, dun, da, da. updates probably don't see me fly too much I was always in the learning phase and I can never fly things good enough for product videos yet but now I got the Spitfire up for the first time I've been dying to fly warbirds always wanted to put one up so I told Max this morning as we were headed out here I was like I'm taking something up and the Spitfire it is all right coming in for a loop Everything is perfect. So that didn't go quite as well as I hoped it would with the Spitfire. I kept it in the sky. You didn't break it. But it was far too windy. I shouldn't even have done it. I had to have Max land it. I was way too nervous to work on flaps. My fingers aren't there, the flap, the, you know, all that mental memory that I just don't have. I'm used to flying wings and just fix landing gears. I'm just getting into the tundra with flaps, so I gotta work on that. It's gonna take a little while, but I was pumped to get the Warbird up. But Max, what do we have in front of us here? Because people are gonna be interested in this. Brand new Prime Jets just came on the new items page. They're Brand awesome. new foamy airplanes, yep. under $20 on the new items page. We were excited to put these together, and we're gonna get this product profile out to you guys early next week, so that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, Max, some of the parts we're gonna use for the Prime Jets? Uh, obviously, you have a Prime Jet. Yeah, that's have, important. Have a Prime Jet in Joker, purple and green, or Hobby King, orange and blue. It's up to you. We got some uh, nine gram servos, 30 amp ESC, uh, 2208 motor. Of course, FR Sky Receivers. It looks good. This is something I should be able to fly. I hope so. And I'm excited to fly because tomorrow's going to be a gorgeous day mm -hmm. for us to get out and fly them. So we'll be doing the studio stuff in here. That's going to get started now, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this week's weekly update. But remember, next week, July 2nd and 3rd, we're in the UK for Hobby King Live. Big show at Ruffham Airfield. Then at the end of July, we just put out more information for that Netherlands event. Make sure you go on the YouTube channel and check that out as well. And then just around the corner is the US Joe Nationals, but we'll talk more about that uh, later on in updates. So guys, Stuart's in Australia. We're here in New York. This is the way Hobby King Live is gonna be running for the foreseeable future. So guys, we're excited about it and we'll see you on the next weekly update. Where are you going? I'm putting this together here. You've got to help me. <laughs> Spot out. <laughs>